Okay. Uh, so we have a bad combination chamber. Uh, it's actually jamming up the whole lock. So let's take a look at this. Took it apart yesterday and I, I didn't I came out here. I didn't have a combo chamber with me. Now I've got some. Always a good idea to keep a combo chamber for simplex. This is actually a double simplex, so we'll pull, pull that out of the way and see what the problem is. It's uh, let me go and push that just a bit. It lets you see the combo the chambers aren't reacting at all number five is but none of the other ones are so we have a bad combo chamber and that means we need to switch it out and uh, you need a little bitty flathead for this we've got to take this whole mechanism off just take a picture of it to remind yourself which way copper brass once you take it off it's all kind of screwy and to take it off you have to remove this one right there and this one Be careful that they don't go flying and then lift this off as you're lifting this off just so you don't have to remember just try to keep it the same way um, but actually the new chambers do come with a new pin so we're gonna have to take that off as well but let's just get it off the get it off the mechanism first all three have to go up at the same time Come on, come on, come on, thank you, thank you, come on up, all right, so we're going to take this clip off the brass, just remember the copper goes down, so we'll go ahead, ah. comes in here there. If it's a new lock, this was designed to retrofit old locks. But this is a fairly new one, so it's is actually the same, you see the same part number on it. So we didn't have to switch it out, but it comes with a new one, so you might as well switch it out while you're in here. side uh, also there is a brass ferrule right here that we need to get off it's simply it's usually easier just to take it off after you get the combo chamber out there's two screws holding in the chamber jammed up so remember your brass part right there Yeah, 
Let's see if we can get it off with like this. Hey. All right. So bad chamber. Put that on. Make sure it snaps in. And uh, do have the programming. Uh, when install the lock, it's set to a factory code two and three two three. So we're gonna put it back on. I thought they'd done away with that total two three thing, but I guess not. Thought they came ready to set, and I'm kind of glad they didn't because uh, in shipping it could get pressed. The buttons might, you know get pressed and change the combination so we will screw it back on here and uh, we can always reset it from the gate back on like so and like so and like so uh, now I'm kind of hoping hold on let's uh, let's take it back off for just a minute because I'm kind of hoping it's not the lever no the knob return spring it can go out sometimes and it's a pain in the pain in the butt sometimes to replace but it looks like that is not the trouble. Definitely the combo chamber. Don't forget your little bitty clippies. Let's go one over here. Come on, don't let it spring away. Clip. Yay, it works. And ten, four, and three. See how it does a different thing there. So now it's just a matter of resetting the combo to the customer's combo and putting it back on. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section, as always. I used to have to take these apart. I know you older folks, <laughs> older guys, have taken many of these combination chambers apart, but they changed them and they do not have to come apart anymore. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but to reset it to the existing code, you just follow the directions. This is resetting unknown. This is. Uh, Does not tell you how to do it uh, exactly. And normally on the single sided ones of these, you unscrew the inner cylinder with the common key and you reach in there and press that little lock outside however on these you just have to push through right there and you can do that with uh, usually a pair of tweezers let's see if a pair of tweezers yeah a pair of tweezers will work uh, so again clutch so you can stick this in until and then two, four, three hear a definite difference in 
how it goes together. So let's go ahead and put these all up. There's something in there. Doesn't tell you, it's kind of funny though, it doesn't tell you how to do, if you know it. Like just setting it by itself. Uh, once you put the combo, the existing combo in, you can, uh, so two, four, three, and we're going to push that in, which pushes that down, right? Once it's down, we're going to turn it all the way so that it clears, and then we put the new combo in. Make sure it activates, and it does. So that's all there is to it. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Make sure and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, there's a link up here in the top corner to subscribe to the channel. If you have not done so, make sure and hit that bell notification so you know instantly when we upload the newest content. Thanks again for being here. We really appreciate all y'all who watch our videos. So make sure and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you next video.